The complex will have the townhouses right here on this stretch of land, close to Lewis Avenue between 9th and 10th, so it'll blend in with the rest of the neighborhood. A little farther in on the property, they'll have the big apartment complex heading out toward Yellowstone Avenue. Some have their concerns, but the project is ready to go forward. One, two, three. There we go. Thrive Development celebrates the groundbreaking for a 220-unit complex. We're really excited about it. It's, this is a great market. Project manager Jeff Lee says his company is building similar complexes in Bozeman, Missoula, Kalispell, and even Salt Lake City. We feel that it's uniquely positioned to be able to offer residents a lot of you know, access to employment and, um, and the great downtown and then a lot of, a lot of uh, other restaurants and businesses around as well. The developers say the project will help with the housing shortage and the townhouses along Lewis will conform with zoning helping to preserve the neighborhood. Frontage along Lewis is an N1 zoning which means it can only be two stories maximum. So we've designed eight duplexes that will go along Lewis Avenue. However, some in the neighborhood are not in agreement saying rain runoff could be a problem and the traffic will be much heavier. If you've got 200, 250 apartments and you've got two people living in each one, each one's got a car, that's an additional 500 cars. Those kids all walk home from Lewis and Clark every day about 3 o'clock. The traffic impact really isn't that significant because Lewis is a kind of an underutilized collector right now. Thrive does not have a timeline and says part of it will depend on how extensive the mitigation is for demolishing the lodge. But the tennis center is going to remain and it's going to stay up as an, both an amenity to the residents and then also going to be open to the public. We're about to take the impact of this new project. In Billings, David J, MTN News.